There you are, and welcome back. Let's face it, we all have money problems from time to time. Luckily for me, my next guest is a financial wizard and a TV star who's best known for his blunt honesty, which is why I'm not going to ask him what he thinks of my jacket. <laughs> With us tonight, O'Leary Ventures chairman and co-host of Shark Tank, Mr. Wonderful himself, Kevin O'Leary is here. The crowd goes wild. Yay! Thank you. They're excited. Thank you so much. They're excited. I appreciate it. Did you know you'd be sitting with an extra from Tiger King? No, but I am looking for trashy outfits like that. Oh, no! I got to tell you, that looks terrific. It's a, it's a work. Yeah. It's, it's a work. Now, here's the thing, okay? When you hang out with this crowd, we, none of us are going to, you know, bother you with Shark Tank pitches. Yeah. But I'm obsessed with a, a, a spinoff show called Lone Shark Tank. <laughs> where we just pitch you, like, $300 ideas. Would that not be a fun show? Yeah, if I could charge 25% interest, I'd really like it. You're going to make That'd money. fantastic, yeah. Let me ask you this, though. In this day and age, who do you think charges a more prohibitive interest rate, the loan shark or like the credit card company? Actually, what's happened just in the last six months, credit card rates have gone all the way to about 38 percent, wow. depending uh -huh. on the card. So you don't want to carry a balance on a credit card anymore. That's because the Fed raised rates very quickly mm -hmm. and credit cards moved. I'll tell you the truth. I own stock in all the credit card companies because uh -huh. if you're not paying off your balance, you're paying me. And I like that. <laughs> I love, I I love like this. That. Uh, when did you know? you were a business prodigy. Like, was your lemonade stand as a kid publicly traded? No, no, what happened to me was I was working in an ice cream store, mm -hmm. and uh, I only, I went there for the very first day, and the girl I was hot for in high school was working at the shoe store across the mall. Uh -huh. And the plan was, when I finished scooping, uh -huh. we'd go out on a date, and okay. you know, because I knew she was, a th so mm -hmm. she's watching me, and then at the end, the woman who owns the store comes over to me and says, listen, um, you got to take all of the gum off the tiles because when you're giving tasters out, guys throw their gum on the floor, it turns into a black splotch. <laughs> and I was looking at the girl across the hall, looking at me, saying, that's not on brand for me. Oh. Getting on my knees and scraping the floor is a bad look. It's not you. So I said, you hired a scooper, not a scraper. And she said, no, 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 no. You're going to do whatever I say. I own the store. And I said, I'm not doing it. She said, you're fired. And I'd never had a job or been fired before and I did them both in the same day <laughs> and that was the last time I ever worked for anybody it was so humiliating you like took it back on my bike to my mother and saying I got fired she said why I said because I didn't want to scrape the gum off the floor yeah so I learned that day that there are two types of people out there uh -huh. there's people that scrape the <laughs> off the floor and there's the people that own the store yeah, I yeah. wanted to be the guy that owned the store no I dig and that I'm not, and I'm not saying uh -huh. that it's bad to be an employee, but yeah. I don't know how to do it. No, I get it. And in that story, I just wanted to be the guy that screwed the girl you were talking about. Yeah, you would have. You would have listen, I still think about her. <laughs> she's still out there. Uh, she's, she's out there. The scoop that got yeah, away. The scoop that got away. <laughs> I love this. Well, you know, one, it's of the, one of those stories you can't forget after like 20, 30, 40 years. It, Amazing. It comes back to you. I've heard you say before that being a true entrepreneur does involve getting beaten down a lot. Yeah, and, you're and going it, to fail. You're yeah. going to fail a few times. Uh -huh. And uh, it's actually important. I like to invest in people that have had the sting of failure. Yeah. Because it's extremely motivating. Mm -hmm. A couple of failures gets you going. You uh -huh. say to yourself, I can't do this again. And hopefully you've learned from those mistakes. Yeah. That's the uh -huh. whole idea. But the truth is, and you know, going back to the Shark Tank Index, after 15 years of doing this show and hundreds of deals, it's never the deals that I think are going to work that make me the money. Uh -huh. It's the random crap that explodes to the upside that makes millions of dollars. We're back to Loan Shark Tank. Yeah. My $300 pitch. This year, something <laughs> called Turbo Trusser. Uh -huh. I mean, who knew? Not me. Yeah, exactly. You got me there. Uh, who do you think is a better taxi passenger? I'm a former New York City cab driver. Who do you think is a better passenger, you or Mark Cuban? Oh, I'd have to say I'm better. You think so? Are yeah. you the chatty guy who gets in and talks to me? And is, it, it's, I, I'm ahead. just a nice guy. <laughs> Mr. It's, Wonderful. Well, Mark, listen, Mark and I have worked together 15 years. Yeah. I got a lot of respect for him. Uh -huh. um, we've done some crazy deals together. Yeah. And he just has a different perspective on how to structure them. We don't mm -hmm. agree on anything. Yeah. I think that's why Shark Tank works. You have to have different opinions. Well, the reason we'd prefer you is I do think you'd give us a longer leash as a driver. <laughs> I think Cuban, as an NBA team owner, is going to be whiteboarding the route. Yeah. And I got a real problem if I don't hit the cutoff man at 38th Street. I don't think been in a cab in 20 years. <laughs> that's what I think. Some of that's my doing. I saw him on 38th Street. I was like, enough out of you. Uh, Kevin O'Leary, a legend. Thank you for classing up our set. You this got it. Big Thank deal. you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.